So this is our topic, power of a product. For all real numbers, A and B, and any positive integer, M, so the quantity of A times B, the quantity raised to the power of M, that is equal to A raised to the power of M, B to the power, raised to the power of M. Si A, the ratio so, si M, at saka si B, the ratio si M. So, ito yung result niya. So, let's have another example. Number one, the quantity of A, B, the quantity raised to the power of 3. So, ang gagawin natin dito, si A, erase natin yan si 3, or si cube. Then, B, raised to the power of 3. Okay? So, number 2 example, the quantity of 2x, the quantity raised to the power of 4. So, si 2, erase natin yan yung exponent na 4. At saka si x, erase din natin yung exponent na 4. Hindi simplify natin yan. Ibig sabihin ng 2 raised to the power of 4, i-multiply natin si 2, apat na beses. Okay? So, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Then, kopihin natin yan si x raised to the power of 4. So, yung result niya, kuha pa ba? 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. Times x to the 4th power, so 16x to the 4th power. Okay? Ito yung final answer natin sa ating example number 2. Number 3, the quantity of 3y, quantity raised to the power of 2. So, ibig sabihin yan, si 3, erase natin yung exponent na 2, at saka si y, erase natin into, uh, yung exponent niya na 2. Dinisimplify natin yan, equals, i-multiply natin si 3 by itself, so, or, or dalawang beses. Ibig sabihin, 3 times 3, that is equal to 9, then kopyahin natin yung y squared. So, ito yung final answer natin. Number 4, our last example, the quantity of x, y, quantity raised to the power of 3. So, ibig sabihin, si x, yung exponent niya ay 3. Then, si y, yung exponent niya ay 3. So, this is our final answer. Bye-bye.